So I'm here at the Engineering Technology Group with Steve Brown. We're talking about um, two topics here, automation, but also the flexibility of the commercial terms that ETG can offer. Now, if you're interested in produ improving your production, then you should be listening to this video. Steve, firstly, we've got here a Quasar. It's a cell, isn't it? This is a way of keeping manufacturing going lights out. Yeah, so you see me behind me, the, the Compact 80. Um, is obviously butted up against a Quasar VM, VMC. Um, so what we're offering is, a, is a, an automated solution with the, in, in, in terms of the automation pallet system. It doesn't have to be this machine. Um, can be a five axis machine, can be a larger three axis machine. This is just an example of a cell um, that we're, we're putting out as, a, as, a, as an offer of support. Now, before Christmas, in fact, in 2020, Lindsay was here with you talking about this, um, this particular solution of which you had some real success with as well. Now you've got a few in the field now, haven't you? Yeah, we, we put the offer out as, as, we, as we are doing today for the, uh, for the VMC and the, the pallet loaded. And we had huge, huge array of interest because during that time people were looking towards, unfortunately they were, they were losing people, but still needed the, uh, the same amount of work going through the, through the factory um, and reached out for automation. Now I know not everything is about a quick win, but where are the quick wins here with this? For me, I'm thinking you, you just load, this, this spindle's going, you know, 95% of the time, 99% of the time, and that's doing the hard work, isn't it? Oh, I say the hard work, but that's where you're low feeding. Yeah. You're feeding this. This, this. this will always pass a COVID test. You know, it's always going to be there loading, loading, loading the machine. Out of hours, it's not going to go it doesn't through. Need self -isolation. Doesn't need self-isolation. Doesn't need a self-isolate. It, it, you know, it, it's going to tick along doing exactly what, um, what the customer wants. Um, and that's what we look for. We look to work with a customer. When that spindle is running, our customers are happy. Okay. Let's let's think about payback. I mean, it's not going to be it's not going to be cheap to, to purchase a setup like this. I mean, firstly, we've got what is a as classed as a premium machining centre here. Secondly, you've got a pallet a Euroa pallet system, which is equally as credible when it comes to its quality. And the work holding within it, we've, we've got 40 grand's worth of work holding pallets already. Um, okay. So in, already my, in my head, I'm thinking right. Uh, uh this is going to ching ching. This is going to cost me a, a few bob. Is that the case? Uh, well, what, you, what you're about, what we're about to move on to, obviously, with the C bills, is this this particular sale would fall fall well within that within that um, allowance. Within that allowance, okay. So, um, will you offer additional flexibility to the customer as well? I mean, we talk about C bill schemes, which are available at the moment um, from the government. You can find out more on the government's website. It's just been extended to March the 31st, so it's a perfect time to get involved with that scheme if you haven't already. In fact, I know a few companies that have, have, have got many, many machines as a result of uh, these schemes. Um, but will you add value to it in addition to that, Steve? Is there yeah, anything so we have our, we have our own, own line of support in, in, in terms of we're in a fortunate position to be able to support customers. Um, on the back of the, the video that we did with you last time, we had an array of interested, uh, all different types of osses and support that the customers, customers needed. And the main hurdle was, was the, the investment in the, in the machine. Um, when, once we placed the machine with the customer, once that spindle was turning for them and they had work coming, coming through, they was open and honest and says, well, we're in, a, we're in an affordable position now to invest in, in the machine. So you could, you could take it, what we're trying to do is just, just, just kickstart the, the customer, um, give them a, a lease of life with a machine and, an, and, a, and a pallet system. They can go out, find work, fill, fill the unit up, and it, it'll run in day in, day out. So I know you might not answer this question on camera, but could I come to you and say, right, I've got very poor cash flow at the moment. I recognise that my business isn't progressing because I haven't got automation. Um, my books aren't great for whatever reason, but I still want this solution. Is there an answer in there somewhere to support a company like that? 100%. We, we've supported new startups with mills and lathes that have had no accounts, he's, all he's got is a, is, a, is, a, is a garage to put machines in and we, we, we support them all the way up through to a, a large three million pound project um, with a corporate company that was taking two and a half years to go through their capex processes. We supported them by getting six machines in from day one. So yeah, we, we, we're completely flexible, we just need to know uh, the requirements or the needs from the, from the customer and we can work together. And in amongst all of these messages about, you know, uh, the economy, GDP, um, the pandemic, this has to be a really good opportunity to maybe step up and take your business to the to the next level, doesn't it? To change the direction, maybe. A hundred percent. But 
you, you have to lose the nature of by putting a pallet system on the side that you need to be a production environment. You don't need to be a production en 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 environment. The pallet system won't go off COVID. Okay, so that, that customer's got work that is going through his VMC, through his five axis at the minute. What we're going to give you is a solution that consistently goes through. It, that will go through in the evening. You know, we've looked at, um, we've replaced uh, a cell like this. Um, we've taken out three or four of the customers' machines. Okay, we will buy the machines off them mm. and then install this this car to, type of kit. What I really want is people to challenge you. I, I want people to come to you and say, okay, Steve, right, I see this. I mean, I, I don't think the sell of this is that difficult because I understand, and most yeah. people will, that by having these two put next to each other can replace three, four machines. It's whether it's whether the challenges that they face as engineers you can overcome in order to um, to give this as a perfect well, that, solution. That's, that, that, well, that's the beauty of this type of media, you know. Give it give it a two uh, a couple of months, and 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 our customers will start to see uh, yeah. the type of sales that we've put out there. Let's and what, call this one Challenge Steve. If you want to improve your production, improve your productivity, maybe get rid of two or three VMCs and have one solution here which can run, as Steve quite rightly said, in a COVID-free way. Uh, this pandemic is going to end ultimately. Make sure your business is in a good position when you come out of it. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, challenge Steve. See if you can uh, uh, take the opportunity of the Sybil scheme and ETG's commercial flexibility to get ahead of the game. Thank you very much, Steve. Cheers, Paul.